Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Lip Sense Long Lasting Liquid Lip Color. It is a waterproof lip color that is not supposed to rub off, smear off, or transfer, and it's supposed to last anywhere from 4 to 18 hours. So those are some pretty big promises from a lip gloss, but this is not just any standard lip gloss because you don't just open the tube and put it on. And then on top of that, they recommend the Lip Sense Moisturizing Gloss. You also need special remover for it, which I also purchased. Um, this is their Oops Remover, so that if you make a mistake in application, you just rub this over and you can fix up your lip line, or at the end of the night, you kind of need this to get the stuff off. I purchased mine on Amazon. The prices are different for each product, and even the color lip glosses are different prices. I don't know if it's different sellers or if they're by popularity, but one was way more expensive than the other. So I bought it in two different shades. The first one is called Roseberry. This one was $26.99, and there's a quarter ounce of product in each tube. The next color I got is called First Love. It's the nude color that I'm wearing today. It's a really pretty pinky nude. I really like it. And this one was $39.99, so $40 for this one. Then the uh, gloss that you put over the top was $22. And the oops, get the stuff off your lips stuff was $18.27. So altogether that adds up to a whopping $80.26 for lip gloss. All right, let's just talk briefly about the ingredients for a sec, then we'll go into the application video, and then we'll see how it wears all day. The first ingredient in the color part is SD alcohol, which is drying alcohol. So if you are absolutely opposed to alcohol, um, in its drying form and don't want to put it on your lips, then you might not like these. Uh, but it also does contain some film formers, some fragrance, some water, and a whole bunch of plant extracts. Now the moisturizing gloss contains silicone, beeswax, shea butter, and vitamin E. The oops remover contains fatty alcohol, which are non-drying alcohols, coconut alcohol esters, and it also contains vitamins A, B5, C, and E, and some solvents, of course, to get that stuff off your lips. And just a side note is that sometimes the pictures on Amazon, uh, they're not exactly representational of what you're going to get. I thought this one was going to be kind of a, a middle orangey pink color, and it ended up being a really bright, more like a fuchsia or a candy apple red color. This one is more true to the color that I thought I was going to get. Of course, you start with clean, dry lips that don't have any other product on them. Uh, first, you have to shake the tube a little bit horizontally to make sure that you've got everything all mixed up. Then you're supposed to apply it in one even uh, stroke, starting at the outer corner of your mouth and going all the way to the other outer corner of your mouth. And then you would do the lower lip, same, left to right or right to left in one stroke. Uh, I'm going to try to go middle out in one swipe. Then you repeat those two steps two more times so that you end up with three coats and three to five seconds of drying in between. Then you let that set up for a little while. Once it feels set, then you can go ahead and put on the moisturizing gloss. All right, it's on, and I've heard that once it's on, it is not going anywhere. So, let's see. Back of the hand, the old smooch test. Mwah. Completely clean, nothing on there. And we'll see how it wears throughout the day. It is now 1240, time for lunch. Yay, I can just go eat something now. So we'll see how it is after lunch and by the end of the day. And here's how it looks super up close. Well, I just finished eating lunch, and look at this stuff. Uh, it doesn't move. We smear it all over the place. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? I just smeared foundation on top of it. It didn't move, but my foundation moved all over it. I'm also testing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus today, uh, which never sets up. Let me see. Now let me re-gloss this up. Oh my, oh my, wait, is this the right one? Oh my gosh, I'm about to put on the oops. My God, I could completely screw this whole thing up. All right, so after that little debacle, look, no harm, no foul. You can spread your makeup all over it. You can eat, you can do whatever you want. You can rub it. This stuff is not coming off. It's six o'clock right now, not five o'clock. So it's a six hour check-in on the Lip Sense um, lip gloss and wow is it still in place and as I showed you before it does not rub off no matter what you do It hasn't gone into any of my lip lines or anything, but as you can see where it doesn't really 
stick to the wetter part of your lip. The next check-in was a 10-hour check-in. I didn't feel like my lips were looking fabulous at that point. There still was a lot of the color still staining my lips, but it was kind of fading off. So then of course the last thing with this stuff is to try to get it off. For those of you who had never plunked down the extra 20 bucks for the remover, the Oops remover, I thought, well, let me try first removing it with just a makeup removing cloth. Yeah, so no. After rubbing really hard with the makeup removing cloth, that stuff did not budge. Uh, then I tried a lip oil to see if that would get it off. That got off a little more of it, but it felt like and looked like it was embedded right into my lip. I had the stuff. I don't know why I didn't use it before, but anyway, then I tried the Oops remover. It didn't just whisk it away. You still had to rub it your lips pretty darn hard, and it still didn't get it all off. And then the next day, I thought my lips were going to be really dry and really cracked, and they really weren't. They actually felt um, comfortable and normal. It wasn't anything worse than like when I wear a regular liquid lipstick, because those are so dry or a matte lipstick because those are so drying. So um, on the lip sense, what do I think? I think that it is a really good product if you think that you can get it on there. If you're at the age where your eyesight isn't great and you don't have your glasses in your 15x mirror and you're not going to be able to do the one swipe to get it on your lips, then you might have some trouble with the application. But once you get it on there, I think it's really an awesome product. I mean, this stuff really works. It stays in place. It doesn't go into your lip wrinkles. If you have a special occasion, and you need it to look solid and good for like four or five hours. Wedding, if you're the mother of the bride or the mother of the groom, you have to be in that receiving line and you're like, kiss, kiss, kiss. You don't want to be leaving your lipstick all over everybody. You don't want it smearing all over you. You don't want it on your teeth a great solution. So I'm really happy with these. I'm giving these a pretty darn high recommendation, mainly because they're not as drying as I thought they were going to be. They are a little bit hard to apply and a little bit hard to get off, but it could be worth it if you really need your lip product to perform for a solid like five to six hours. So that is my full review on LipSense. So I hope you found the review helpful and informative, and I hope you have a great day. So take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.